Intergrowth 21st is a global, multidisciplinary network of more than 300 researchers and clinicians from 27 institutions in 18 countries worldwide, coordinated by the University of Oxford. Since 2014, the Intergrowth 21st project has released international standards for fetal growth, newborn size and preterm postnatal growth, thereby extending the WHO child growth standards into the fetal and neonatal periods and providing tools for continuity of care from conception to five years of age. Anthropometry involves a systematic measurement of the physical properties, size and shape, of the human body. In this short film, you will be shown how to measure the head circumference of newborns and how to interpret that measurement using the Intergrowth 21st Newborn Size Application Tool. You will need two people to take these measurements, one to take the measurements and one who can be the caregiver to act as an assistant. The baby should be held in a sitting position on the caregiver or helper's lap, similar to the position for winding a baby, with gentle but firm support at the back of the neck and under the chin to stop the baby's head from rolling. The measurer uses a tape measure with the measurement unit in centimetres and millimetres. Before putting the tape measure around the baby's head, the measurer should loop the tape. The end with a zero should be placed under the other end to create a continuous line across the tape and ensure precision of measurement. You may need to adjust this technique if the tape endings are different from the tape we are using here. The loop should be a little bigger than the size you expect the baby's head to be. Crouching at eye level with the baby, position the tape around the baby's head with it lying just above the baby's brow line and on the fullest part of the skull at the back of the head. The zero should be somewhere by the side of the head. The assistant holding the baby needs to ensure that the tape is lying flat not lying over the ear on their side, is level and not slanted. To ensure the tape is stable, the measurer can anchor it at the front and the back of the head using the middle finger of each hand. Once the tape is in the correct position, the measurer gently tightens the tape to compress any hair and fat. In newborns, a great deal of care should be taken not to tighten the tape too much. The measurer records the measurement to the last completed millimeter. For example, this baby's head shows a measurement slightly in excess of 33.3 centimeters, so the measurement will be 33.3 centimeters. Once completed, the measurer carefully removes the tape off the baby's head. Any residual pressure marks should disappear within seconds. Once you have the measurements, open the Intergrowth 21st Newborn Size Application Tool, which is freely accessible to download, or alternatively, you can use the browser version. First, enter the sex, then the gestational age in weeks and days to the best of your knowledge from the information available. Next, enter some or all of the required measurements. The head circumference measurement we took earlier was 33.3, so enter 33.3 or 33,3, depending on which country you are in. Then, click Compare to Standards. The app calculates the z-score in centiles and provides a graphical display of the results. Select the measurement of interest, here, head circumference, and see the position on the charts.